What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm finally doing the very highly requested how to make this scrapbook. So it's very easy. Um, I have a couple of key steps that basically will allow you to make the whole thing. Hey guys, welcome back for part two. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a couple of the pages. If you haven't seen part one yet, I would highly recommend to go watch it. That one I'm gonna be explaining how I did everything and basically just the basics of how to make the book. So yeah, here you go. Hi, I'm Jackie. Here I'm gonna show you how I made the mini mailbox with the letter in it. Um, it is very easy, so I highly recommend this. I think it's also super cute to add. For the mailbox, you're going to start out with two shapes that look like this. One is just a rectangle with a little bit of a curve that is going to go at the top. And then your second part is your door, which I did curve. You can leave it square if you'd like. Um, and then I put tape on the two sides, and then I would also put it on the back. Um, and then we're going to flip the tape underneath so that all the tape is hidden. So if you just watch how I did that, you put one side down, flip the tape, and then stick the other side down. And, and then I also use that same tape to tape the bottom of the door and flip it the same way so that that tape is hidden. I used the same red tape to put behind the mailbox door as a background to kind of give that illusion of the opening of the mailbox. And then your mailbox is done. And then next we are going to make a little envelope to put in the mailbox that you can put a little letter in like I did for the book that I made. And then you'll start with a small rectangle or square, whatever shape you want, and then you'll cut out little rectangles or squares out of each corner. So the part I am holding here, this is going to be the top and we're going to cut that one last. But for all the rest of them, you'll just cut off the edges making them a little, like, cutting off the point. Then for this top one here, we're gonna go and cut all the way through to that middle. This will be your top piece that covers everything. So it looks like this. And we're gonna go ahead and flip that over and start by folding in one side, make sure you crease it nice and hard, and then you're going to fold in the other side, that same thing, and then you will crease in that bottom half. Now for this, you can see where the little insert is. You will want to go through and glue it. With mine, I did glue it. I would recommend a glue stick, but I didn't have one. So you're gonna glue down on just the two sides and try to do no glue on the inside so that you can stick a little letter in there and then you can flip the top down when you are done and there you are, you have your letter. And yeah, just make sure that it's small enough so that it fits in the mailbox and you are good to go. This one is Oh, everybody loves this one. So this is the pullout one. Um, I can show you guys how to make this. This one was a little bit on the harder side. Actually, who am I kidding? This was so easy to make. Okay, so basically all you do, you have a sheet of paper, you print this out. I explained this bad, but basically you're gonna print out the picture, put glue on the top, the side, and the bottom, and then you're gonna leave a gap to put the picture where it can slide in and out. And then you measure out something like this that will fit in there. Make sure that this fits and you're gonna make sure that there's no sticky part so it can't get stuck anywhere. And you're just gonna put that on a page. But instead of gluing this whole thing down, it's like an, a little hole. So that goes in it. Like this, I put a piece of like little cardboard thing on the back to make this a little thicker. This is also a sticker on a piece of cardboard thingy. And then I just made a little tab out of cardboard as well. Oh, how I made this. So I Googled a, like camera film and like clip art 
made this big and I made that like the background on Google and put the pictures inside, like put it on top of this already picture in Google. All right, to make this camera page, instead of using the camera that I originally did, I decided to do more of a Polaroid. So I cut that out and then I also cut out a little Polaroid picture that I'm going to use to be the pullout. Make sure your picture is small enough to fit behind the camera and then flip it over and just measure out how big the picture is on the back to know where you want to put your glue and where to keep it out. You'll glue three of the edges to glue it down onto the paper and then I glued the picture onto the paper as well and then cut that out just to make it a little stiffer so it was easier to pull in and out. And then finally I made a little pull tab to put behind the picture. I would also recommend maybe putting the tab behind the paper before you glue it on but I didn't do that <laughs> so just a thought. And then there you go. And then I'm going to jump back a little bit to show you how I made the Polaroid pullout. Um, I just used PixArt and it was really easy. I could just use a little sticker frame to put over my picture. So if you just search the pictures, you can definitely find one that's cute. There's lots of options. And then you just put it over your picture and then you print it out. Um, yeah, and then I made a little collage with my camera um, to make sure that the picture could fit behind it and that the sizing was all good. And then I printed this picture out together just to make sure everything worked size wise that's that's what you do there you know dinner okay another one that a lot of people ask about is this star one hold up there's three of them so these star pictures were so i looked up on i literally just typed it into google it's the night sky it is a website where you can buy um big like pictures like this so what you do is you go on there you type in it'll say like your title um it'll walk you through everything um so this one was our first date our first kiss and then this one back here is nothing i guess <laughs> so it's just our first date our first kiss and then um with that and, and then this is the first time that we said i love you so that's what those three are um with these so it'll put like on the bottom here is like the coordinates um and also the date and you can put in whatever you want put as little as you want you could literally have like nothing but it you will have to have like the exact date and the time otherwise just make it up just make it up who cares nobody knows so yeah that was really cool um so i when i bought them I, when they were like in my cart, I screenshotted it <laughs> and then I, so I screenshotted it and then I printed it off. So I like made this, this once again, a sticker. So literally stickers are going to be your best friend. Um, that's what this picture is too. That's one ginormous sticker. Those are all stickers. Um, and then there is a couple of like little stickers. Like this one is like puffy. It's like bumpy. Um, that one, I got them off from Hobby Lobby, Michael's, literally, like, just a craft store. You can find so many cute things. Um, otherwise, I, a couple of these, so one of them, download a collage app. One of the apps that I use a lot was Fonto, which you can make, if, just look up how to use Fonto. I had to look it up, it's a little comp complicated, but otherwise, use any collage app, just... Do it however you want. One of the collages on here that I really like is this one. Um, so this is me smashing a, pot, a little mini pie in his face. And then that's like pictures of us. And then I put words. And yeah, so that one's really fun. Um, that's also a really good way if you want to fill up pages. Because at the end of this, I like was struggling to find ways to fill up pages. Um, but yeah, so hope this helped um thank you guys so much for watching if you have any other questions or anything please let me know in the comments um i'd love to help you guys out and if you make something like this definitely tag me um otherwise my instagram is jackie lynn martin you can tag me that way um but yeah i really want to see what you guys make and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video so 
um yeah if this helped you at all please leave a like just so i know that i'm reaching out to you guys um i also made sure to put a couple of links in the description to help you guys out as well so definitely check that out but yeah thank you so much for watching thanks bye love you guys